In this video I'm going to repair some battery tender juniors. I've already fixed this one and it was just a bad capacitor and it works fine now. I'll show you the symptoms that both of these had. When I plug them in the light would flash from red to green and it would not charge the battery. It would just sit here forever. I removed these three screws. I remove the cover. I unscrew this component from the heat sink. Now I remove the paper shield that protects the solder joints from the transformer. This is the capacitor that we want to get to. So I pull the power plug out of the slot and this little circuit board slides out a little bit. Doesn't come out too much, but enough to work on. I'll use my ESR meter to measure the capacitor in circuit and it shows that it's open, so it looks like it's bad. Now I pull on the capacitor as I take my soldering iron and heat up the prongs. There, it popped out. Now I'll use a little bit of soldering wick to clean up the holes so the capacitor will slide in easy. This is a 47 microfarad 25 volt cap and on the ESR chart it shows that it should read no higher than 0.9 and on the ESR meter it shows that it's open. It's totally dead cap. And then over here on the my capacitance meter it should be 47 microfarads. It's showing that it's 15 microfarads. This is a totally fried cap. In my box of scrapped circuit boards and I, I found a couple capacitors that'll work. They're rated as 47 microfarads, 35 volts. But it's okay to go up in voltage a little bit as long as the microfarads stay the same. You never want to go down in voltage. So here's the cap I got. 35 volts, 47 microfarads. Got it for free. On the ESR chart, 47 microfarads, 35 volts, it should read no higher than 0.7. So the new cap on the ESR meter is reading 0.1, so this is a very good cap. And on the capacitance meter, 44 microfarads, which is good. They're never perfect. There's like a little bit of percentage variance that's within tolerance. I'll take some needle nose pliers and straighten out the pins of the capacitor. And the capacitor has to go in a certain way. You'll notice there's a plus. That's the positive side and this is the top is the negative side. The negative on a capacitor is the stripe, so the stripe will go up towards the top. Now I'll trim the leads. And I'll put it all back together. Remember the shielding so you don't short out the circuit board. I've got it hooked up to my lawnmower battery.
Hey, 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 got a solid red light. Okay, it's been about two hours later, and now the light is flashing green, which means that it's almost fully charged. Okay, it's a short time later, and the light is now solid green, which means the battery is fully charged. So it's a successful repair. It's pretty simple. One capacitor. I had the, the exact same thing with this one, is how it fixed it. Had that one bad capacitor. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video.